How would you say we find balance between being free with our sexuality, with our sexual energy, but also or being not too promiscuous? Yeah, good point. Because I know women who are very promiscuous. Like, and they're just, you know, they're, they'll, they'll jump from guy to guy. They don't necessarily have sex with multiple partners at the same time, but they'll, you know, one guy for four months and another guy for six months and, and, you know, they'll jump from partner to partner. Yeah. And I think there's um, a misconception that being, you know, quote unquote promiscuous or having, or, or having lots of sex even makes you uh, sexual and sensual, it doesn't. You could have a, a bunch of partners, you know, there are women who maybe sleep around or promiscuous or whatever, but that doesn't equal them being full body orgasmic or multi orgasmic or that they're even finding pleasure. You know, there's a number of reasons why someone could be cycling through partners like that. Um, and there's no judgment on it, you know, at all, whether that's a positive or negative thing, it's more so. Like, what is the mindset? What is the consciousness with which you're experiencing these partners? Because for me, once I started studying sacred sex and I started working on my own energy, and I was doing that for years before I experienced uh, like a tantric or sacred sexual experience with a partner, I'm doing it by myself. But once you start activating that energy in your body, then the partners that you are attracting and that you're even attracted to change. Mm. So, it becomes kind of difficult um, to be like going from man to man to man or whatever, because it's like most uh, people are very unaware of that type of work and most of them can't meet you there, you know? So for me, like being highly sexual and having a strong connection to my sexual energy, anything, it makes me more picky with partners, you know, because I become very open spiritually when I have a sexual experience like I go into trance you know Mm -hmm. and everybody can't handle that (laughs) everybody everybody can't hold space for that or no no let me (laughs) let's 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 pause there for a second because I constantly say on this podcast and on my social media that the orgasm is a doorway to the divine because we're dealing with our sexual energy our, our, our life energy and when we go into that orgasm, we're losing our mind. For, some, for someone, it might just be for two seconds. And so you can meditate into that and catch a wave. <laughs> and people aren't aware of this because they're so used to the, 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 the rough, pornographic style, traditional New Age style of, of mating. And, but if we just flip that on its other side, we can have experiences like you're talking about going into a trance shed more light on that trance please yeah well (laughs) you just heard a clip from the inner peace with dr reese podcast available on spotify apple music youtube and more subscribe today and move a step closer to liberation My friend, in order to keep this podcast free for the public, I could really use your help. I'd love for you to consider becoming a patron. In return, I'll provide you with behind the scene updates and bonus material. You can also support by listening to my meditations on Spotify or Apple, buying my books on Amazon or Audible, and by simply sharing my work. I appreciate you. Walk with peace.